Shalom. Call Hello Yahweh Bashan Abba Shai, Bashan Rakakadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. Right? To the uh, confusion of faith, join unto our ranks. The Akwaf that are listening and learning. The hopefully let. Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago. And uh, coming at you with another lesson, which uh, this lesson is inspired by the elder Kazak and the elder apostle of Ramlab. Um, Kazak did an excellent video this morning going into salvation and the meaning of salvation. This is a great video. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I highly suggest that you watch it. Uh, breaks down the meaning of it, and it's, uh, it's salvation from captivity, which is salvation, the salvation of the Israelites only. Okay? Uh, but I'm going to go into the Zondervan's. Alright? To the Zondervan's Compact Dictionary Bible, that's this right here. Alright? And I'm going to go to, uh, to the word Idumia. Alright? See if we can focus on that. Right, it says, Idumia, pertaining to Edom, Greek and Roman name for Edom. It gives you two scriptures, Mark 38 and uh, 34 and 30, 34, 5 and 6. All right, so we're going to examine those scriptures. And remember, it said it's the Greek name, Greek and Roman name for Idumia. Now, let us not forget that the Romans and the Greeks are indeed Edomites, all right? Hence the reason why the word Idumia is in the Bible in the first place. Um, especially when you go to the Old Testament, well, it's mentioned because e Esau Edom has been on a mission to, to, uh, to put a veil over themselves, to hide themselves, and then they teach well, along with their false Christianity, which they have pushed on the whole world, Via, via the, the Catholic Church first and foremost they've also hidden hidden the fact that, that, that they are Esau Edom the Edomites and they and then they teach a, when they're questioned about it they've taught a false doctrine that Edom is done away with so they put the word Idumia to cover up the word Edom and then they turned around in another scripture uh, and, and put the word Idumia where the word uh, Assyrian was supposed to be alright so they exchanged the so it said, thou should not abhor Edomite. That was supposed to say Assyrian. And then if you go and do your research, you will find up, it tells you that that is a, a, a clerical error, that they printed the wrong word there. But yet, somehow, some way, after knowing that, they still haven't corrected that. That's still in all the King James, including all the new ones, even though they admit that that's a clerical error. So they're clearly trying to cover up and hide the fact of who Esau Edom is. Uh, Grab this book. Perfect. Uh, this is the book, The Roman Empire. The the Roman Empire, the Empire of the Edomite, 1853. Right? Written by a Cambridge scholar, William. Beastum, Kissinger Legacy Reprints. The uh, he's from the same uh, famous place of higher learning, which is Cambridge. All right, which is also where these apocryphas were printed. All right, so this is a, a highly acclaimed Cambridge scholar. Okay, it's like I've said before in other videos. If this guy was paid to come and speak at your university or your place of learning that he would charge a substantial fee and he could actually make a really good amount of money and a living just coming to speak um, at your schools and on and on or, or wherever your place of learning is and on uh there's a lot of info on him but I'm just go right to the meat of it which is on page nine where it reads um, I'll read it through the camera. 
The true answer to the question whence came the Romans may have been returned and even registered in writing before the birth of Hamashiach that the response proceeded neither from the Greek nor Roman but from the despised Jew. Uh, let me close this door. So lock it. And it says uh, that in the midst of the, it said, but that it has been preserved to us in Jewish targums that exists amidst the fables and pedities and absurdities and blasphemies of the Jewish Talmud, that it may be comprehended in these words, the Romans came from Esau, who is Edom, and Italy is Idumia, Rome, the Basra of the Hebrew prophets. Exactly. The Basra of the Hebrew prophets. And where is that? Where So basically, wherever Edomites dwell could be called Basra. Okay, that's why Isaiah 63 reads as such. Let's get Isaiah 63. Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel and thy garments, like him that treadeth the wine vat? <clears throat> I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people that was none with me, for I will tread them in my anger, and I will trample them in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain my raiment. Verse 4, for the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the year of my redeemed is coming. Alright, and this is this is talking about the Lord. This this is because they say that the Edomites were done away with, but the Bible, the prophecy is that the Lord is going to do away with them. This is a future prophecy that's about to come true. Alright, because in the midst of World War III, which is at the door, the Lord comes back and he's going to smash on Esau, Edom, and the heathen and deliver his people. So the controversy of Zion is going to be over. It's going to be found out who the people of the Lord are. All right. Uh, since we're in Isaiah, let's go to 25 and 7. One of my favorite scriptures. And it reads, Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. All right. So the nations have all been renamed. That's why when you fill out a job application here in America, they're so worried about ethnicity and this. And then they so basically they've created their own ethnicities and not going by the ones that were prescribed to all nations, according to the Bible, according to Genesis, the 10th chapter. Why? That was a veil put over all people. All right, because they, they, you know, Esau, Edom has lied about who they are. They're claiming to be the people of the Lord when they're really the Edomites. They even got a, a faction of Hamites, Ethiopians, and 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 pushing to the world that they're part of the uh, uh, the Israelites. When how the Ethiopians are Hamites, you can't be a Hamite and an Israelite. Those are two different bloodlines. Ethiopians are the sons of Ham. All right. Are the Israelites scattered among Ethiopians? Yes, they're, they're Israelites scattered among Esau, Edom. All right. The Israelites are scattered among all people. All right. But that veil of who they really are, uh, as far as the Edomites is concerned, has been lifted, which is why Esau, Edom is in such a desperate mode. All right. Um, let's go to Romans 9 and 13. And here's why. Because they're hated of the Lord. They're hated, they're hated by God, man. And it tells you, let's, as a matter of fact, we're going to read uh, Romans 9. Let's read uh, Romans 9 and 11 first. Romans, 11, uh, Romans 9 and 11, it says, For the children, being not yet born, neither have done anything good or evil that the purpose of of power according to election might stand not of works but of him that calleth so Esau was created to be the nemesis to the Israelites there always has to be a left hand and a right hand an up and a down 
a good and a bad. Esau was created to be the bad, and there and 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 the Lord uh, set it up to be that way. All right, it wasn't anything that they did. The Lord just, you know, it's like a kid playing with toys. One toy he always he's got two two uh, action figures. One one action figure is his favorite. That's the one that always wins the battle. He loses it first, and then he comes back and wins. That's the way it's done. The Lord did the same thing with Esau uh, and Jacob. Jacob is the is the action figure that the Lord chose, and right now Jacob is on the bottom, and but the Lord is gonna let Jacob wins in the end. No matter how bad he loses and what happens to him, the Lord is gonna make him win, and that's simply that's what it is. All right, let's go to uh, verse eighteen. Therefore have he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will he will harden. All right, um, meaning that when the Lord when the Lord comes back to to, to do what He said in Basra, Esau is actually going to try to fight him. All right, Esau is going to try to fight for him, you know, uh, fight against the Lord, man. Why? Because he's hated and he doesn't want to give up this glory that he has, this power that he has right now on Earth. Of uh, uh, Romans nine and thirteen, as it is written. Which is referring to Paul is referring to the uh, Mal the prophet Malachi, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. What shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with unrighteousness with God? God forbid. So no, God forbid. The Lord, the Lord already predestined Esau to be to be hated, man. And it's, it's nothing that he can do about it. That's why in Isaiah thirty. Uh, was it, uh, is it Isaiah 34 and 5 or 36 and 5? He says he's going to come down upon all I do me. That might be actually uh, Jeremiah or Ezekiel. Hold on. Let's go. Let's see. And we'll close with that as soon as I find it. Because the definition clearly said, uh, You know, in, in the Zonovans about Idumia. So who are the Idumians? Hell, the Herodians were Idumians. All right? So the Herodians were around during the time of, of, of Yehoshai and the uh, and the prophets. Okay? The Idumians were ruling, man. So, you know, to teach that they were done away with, that's just yet another lie. Okay? Just another fabrication, another lie. There's Ezekiel. Yeah, this is Ezekiel. Uh, this will be the last scripture. Ezekiel 36 and 5. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh Power, surely in the fire of my jealousy. Have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their hearts? And they have. They've appointed the Holy Land into their possession. It's prophesied that they would. So the prophecy is that the people who appointed it to themselves, that's the Idumians. And the Idumians are Esau, Edom, which have no, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, we can go and re look up Edom in this Zondervan, same Zondervan's Compact Dictionary Bible. And it tells you that that's the only nation that is promised no uh, mercy from the Lord. All right. But let's let's finish with Ezekiel 35 and I mean 36 and 5. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh power, surely in the fire of my jealousy, I have spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all I do me, which I have appointed my land into their possession with with the joy of all their heart and minds and this and despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. So the Lord is against them and he's going to destroy them. Alright? And there's there's nothing that can be done about it. Alright? The uh, the Romans, the Greeks, the Romans, the Americans, the Russians, the Germans, the, the Europeans of today are indeed the Edomites. Call Halal, Yahweh Bashim, Abashai, Bashim, Wakakudash, Wa Abba Babal.